Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course we are still continuing our study of the uh, animal kingdom right and of course this kingdom is very large it's very large and today we are looking at the phylum anthropoda the phylum anthropoda i got reviews from lots of you i read your comments a lot and uh, of course uh, thank you for the support i appreciate your comment please always drop comments even though it's just a thank you just drop a comment please always like these videos okay and um, uh, some of you said uh, the videos were too fast like the speech was very very fast so try as much as possible to to bring the tone down a little okay and so uh, some of you that say that uh, the videos are too short also okay you don't understand the fact that a lot of people get bored and in fact some of you don't will watch the video to the end you get so it's uh, it's useless to just stack videos there for you and you are not watching them all right so you just watch one minute and then that's all all right so but for those who are watching we appreciate keep watching you are doing yourself the best okay because we're in the best channel and of course we wish you success in your exam so we're going to take it slower okay and we're going to keep breaking them down because we want you to what to get it bit by bit all right it's better for you to get one thing than for you to not get anything at all all right so that is that so today i'm going to be looking at the phylum anthropoda and uh, we'll continue all right the anthropoda is the largest phylum among the invertebrates it is the largest phylum among the invertebrates they may be aquatic okay they may be terrestrial they can live on the land they may be what parasitic okay so they are the largest phylum in the among the invertebrates and they may be aquatic that means they, go, they can live on water they may be terrestrial they can live on the land and they are all parasitic and of course this um uh, anthropods they have a very high variety of adaptations okay they can almost adapt to any condition they can almost survive in any environment and they are found almost everywhere okay they are found almost everywhere okay so they possess the ability to survive in every habitat like i've said they possess the ability to survive in any environment all right so uh they are divided into the crustaceans it's a very very large phylum they are divided into what the crustaceans Okay, as so we're going to see in the next episode, the insecta. Okay, it's a class crustacean, class insecta. We have what the arachnida. You have the mariopoda, which consists of the millipedes. Okay, and then the chilopoda, which consists of the centipedes. Okay, so all these they are all what classes of what the anthropods. Okay, we have the crustaceans, the insecta. We have the arachnida. We have the myriopoda or millipedes. And we have the chilopoda, which is what the centipedes. All right. So now let's see some characteristics of the anthropods. All right. One, they are bilaterally symmetrical. You know what bilateral, what bilateral symmetry means? Okay. It means that their body can be cut into, can be cut into in only one plane, right? Into what two identical halves. All right. And of course, two, they are triploplastic. Meaning that they have a three cell layer. They have the ectoderm, they have the endoderm, and they have the mesoderm. All right. Then, of course, their body is divided into three regions. Their body is divided into three regions. We have the head, they have the head, they have the thorax. Okay. The head, the thorax, and then the abdomen. All right. Anthropos are divided into what three regions? The head, the thorax, and the abdomen all right please do not forget to like this video please liking the video will make other students easily will find this video and learn with us okay all right and of course do not forget this tutorial is brought to you by the o3 school jump app like i told you the app is all you need to succeed in your exam please go to play store right now download the application it has all the past questions it has some wonderful features designed to make you succeed in your exam all right so please your exam is a cbt exam so that's why you must have a cbt application and that's where o3 schools comes in you must practice to show yourself approved especially in biology you need to study and study and read and read and answer questions so that it will stick okay so please download the application activate it as at the time i was talking to you activation is just three thousand errors so once you download register click on activate once you click on activate if you look up you see where the robot activation key click on it you see three options for payment you can make transfer 
can use the ATM card to pay online. It's completely safe, all right? And you can use Google Pay. So in case you have made payments, all right? And of course, you can contact us. The application is available for your computer or for your PC. You can contact us on WhatsApp, all right? Once after you have made your payments or made your transfer and send the receipt. You don't even need to call anybody. Just send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp, 091 five two four six just send the receipt to this number on whatsapp and you get att attended to just be patient send the receipt you will definitely get attended to for long so long you made payment you will get attended to so no have to worry all right so the body is divided into three regions the head the thorax and the abdomen and of course the body cavity is filled with blood the body cavity is filled with blood and it's called the hair muscle okay Called the word the hemocell. Okay, the blood is white in color. Their blood no be red, so they don't have white blood. Okay, they are what the are what their blood is what is white in color. Their body cavity is filled with blood, and it's called what hemocell. The blood is white in color. The blood is white in color. Hemocell. Their body cavity is filled with blood, and it's called the hemocell. And their blood is not red or it's not pink or it's not purple. It is white in color. Now, five. They usually possess jointed exoskeleton. Okay, which is usually made hardened by cheating. Okay, the exoskeleton is usually made hardened by what you call what cheating. So the exoskeleton is what is cheating us. All right. Why exoskeleton may be hard and what and stiff? Know that what well, they have what joints and they are bendable. Okay, exoskeleton they are usually what hard and what and stiff. But of course they may be, they have joints and because of that they are bendable. All right. Now this allows what this what classes of all this phylum to be able to to move. It, allow, it allow, allows the organism to be able to move from place to place, all right, because of those what joints, jointed or appendages, okay? So, they usually will possess joints in the isoskeleton, all right? And then, of course, they have what is called spiracle that allows them what to breathe, okay, under what the, 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 the jointed or exoskeleton, okay? So, they usually possess jointed exoskeleton, which is usually made hardened by cheating, all right? Then, of course, they have a well-developed central nervous system. They have a well-developed central nervous system. And of course, for you, for, for more information, know that with the anthropos, uh, the sexes are usually what separate. What I mean by the sexes, I mean, we have female, we have what the male, okay? Their sexes are usually what separate. But some of them are hermaphroditic. Okay, some of them are hermaphrodites. They're hermaphrodites. Okay, so you should just take note of that. And likewise, it's good to know that some uh, 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 sperm are uh, what are injected. Okay, into the what into the what the female what uh, into the what the female what organism. Okay, so by some special what mechanism that are above the what the scope of this class. Okay, sperm are what are what injected are uh, inserted into the reproductive system of what of what of the uh, anthropods. Okay, by some special mechanism that are above the cl the scope of this class. So we don't want to look into what that what that part at all in this what class. It's above the syllabus, above the scope. All right. So in the our next episode, what I'm going to look in at is what is the class for crustacean because this is a very very large phylum. All right. So uh, we have what crustaceans. Well, we're going, they will look at insectas. They will look at arachnidas. And of course, uh, we're not going to talk about myriapodas and chilopodas, basically, all right? But I'm going to talk about these major world classes, crustaceans, insecta, and the arachnidas, all right? So I would love to see you in that next class. Please stick with us and keep sharing our videos. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.